Thank you for downloading this Real Agriculture podcast. Next thing you know, you know the next thing. Next is Now is a short podcast discussing agriculture's emerging next-gen tech and trends as they're happening in our industry. Next is Now, presented by GFL Ag. Listen where you get your podcasts today. Bernard Tobin at Commodity Classic over at Precision Planting, now catching up with Caleb Schlater. Caleb, how's it going? Oh, it's going great. I love being here. It's one of my favorite shows of the year, and we get to, we get to bring some amazing new technology to the market, very similar to like this right here, Cornerstone, and all the other things we have here at the booth. Awesome. So, yeah, let's talk about the Cornerstone planting system. Fully custom, you know, factory built planting system, comes standard with load cell and electronics installed. You know, what can growers expect from this planter? Yeah, so this this planting system, as you said, it's it's a design that is fully integrated with the precision planting technology. The way we look at it is we say, you know, one of the best aspects is when you start looking at a new planter, you're trying to get that new technology on your farm. So you have to go buy new paint. Or you buy a used planter where you're going out and you're just accepting the technology that comes on it. We thought that there could be a new category, and that new category is let's build a planting system where it comes with everything but the bar. You can bring your own bar, but bring it where we have an integrated technology across the board, a precision planting technology, and have it to where it's a flexible factory design, to where you can decide what technology you need it on it in order to overcome the challenges or the, the opportunities on your own individual operations. So as you say, growers can pick their components, shall we say. Hey, let's run through some of the key features. Um, I see a rear tipping hopper here. Yeah, yeah, the rear tipping hopper. It's one of those things that this is why we love having our R&D team in the field side by side with us because this is one of those pain points. When you fill this up in the field and you, you're, you're ready to go, undoubtedly something happens. And so now you've, you've got this entire full hopper that you've got to go and pick up and fight against, fight against the way that you want to pick it up and you have to lift that up in order to get in, whereas now we easily can just tip it back and it'll sit on the stand and you can access the meter, you can access your seed tube, making sure that you have that easy use in the field. Tell me about those trailing gauge wheels. Yeah, this was, this was something that was really interesting to me because I, I've only known one way and that was the leading gauge wheel, which means that our depth link is just here. With the trailing gauge wheel, what we found is we said, hey, we all have a bunch of opinions. We think one way is better than the other way. Let's actually get to the data. And when we went to the data, we put accelerometers on these planting systems with a leading gauge wheel and a trailing gauge wheel. And what we found is that the shock load of the trailing gauge wheel was much more consistent than what we saw with the leading gauge wheel. That means that we're gonna, if we, if we have inconsistency in that shock load, we're gonna have inconsistency in our meter performance, inconsistency in our depth. And overall, this trailing gauge wheel design just showed us that, hey, there's a better way, a better optimal way in order to put the seed in the ground, in order to make sure that we're doing the most consistent job possible as we go across. The field. Tell me about top adjust closing alignment. Yeah, the top adjust closing alignment. So one of the things that we always talk about is setting up the planter for success. When we get ready to go into the field, we want to make sure that everything we've done is set up so that way we can do the right job in the first pass. All those things when we talk about maintenance are really important. One of the key things we often talk about in our planter clinics and whenever we're with dealers and whenever we're with customers is making sure that closing tail is aligned. Now, a normal process, you go down, you scribe a line on the ground, you see if it's aligned, and then you need to loosen two bolts. You need to have probably two hands, three hands holding it, trying to make sure it's aligned, and then zip it back up to tighten it. Whereas we have a new design now where it's a top adjust cam nut to where you're essentially just adjusting that cam to where you can precisely align that tail, making sure it's lined up to make sure you close that furrow completely and make sure you're bringing it back firm on top of it for the best opportunity for even and consistent emergence. Yeah. Now, I think I see some heavy duty discs there, right? Yes, yeah, so we have the we have standard 15 inch heavy duty discs. One of the things that I really love about the Cornerstone planting system is we actually put in these little, these little items that help you when it comes to wear and maintenance. And if you look, there's actually a wear indicator that's going to tell us, hey, we've got 15-inch heavy-duty discs, but 
if it starts to wear over time, we want to make sure that we keep that, that maintenance up so it's doing the best job possible. There's an indicator that's going to tell us by quickly glancing versus pulling off the gauge wheel, pulling off the disc and stretching a tape across it, we can see here when we need to replace. So it's really awesome. Lots of things to talk about here. Let's wrap it up with a 14-inch vertical travel with built-in travel stop. Yeah, so that's, that's when it comes to our parallel arms, making sure that we have that travel needed for all different types of bars. Uh, that's, that's why we wanted to design the, plant, the planting system the way we did. So we could take and put it onto the bar of the individual that needs it. Instead of going and buying that brand new piece of equipment, when it's going to be a, a, a large investment up front, or going and buying that used equipment, you could bring your own bar, bring in the cornerstone planting system that is designed for that intention and go out and have a successful year with new paint on the farm. So finally, tell us about availability. Uh, I hear some testing for 24 and yep. maybe 25. Yep, but we will be testing this year. We're in beta, so we're going to have units all across North America uh, getting out into the field alongside our growers. And then if everything goes successful in that beta, we'll probably see a commercial launch, uh, commercial availability in 2025. Well, Caleb, hey, good luck with it. I appreciate you making some time for Real Agriculture. Oh, always, always. Thank you so much.